working on the 2006 Toyota Avalon I'm about to replace this factory head unit with an aftermarket doubled in wanted to show you guys how to dismantle or <laughs> remove the pieces before you remove the radio uh, it first states to remove this panel that's right here it just unclips and then you have to remove this surrounding panel that has the ignition uh, start button here and the dimmer switch and the mirror controls so you gotta unsnap that and get it out of the way because it overlaps the dash bezel that goes around the radio so once you remove this then you gotta snap this and there's gonna be four bolts holding the the radio together what I did I went ahead and removed this and if you notice it overlaps this and be very careful when you're pulling this grab it with two hands and grab it little by little and start prying it off this is very fragile down here below and remember these controls will come off with this too of course you're gonna have to unplug the harness that's securing that control panel from the back same thing goes with that one this one came off without the controls but it just unsnapped so I'll be making sure that I unplug it right now before removing the bezel I went ahead and uh, removed the bezel that goes around the radio and if you'll notice I'll flip it around show you there's a couple harnesses you got to unplug the hazard switch which is right here in between both bands this harness and the other harness on the left hand side once you unplug those you'll have the radio exposed two bolts on each side and they look like 10 millimeter bolts you'll notice I removed the two bolts on this side and the two bolts right there on that side also as well so I'm just gonna slide the radio out uh, before I sl uh, slide it out if you notice I put a cloth in here um, just to protect the finish of the center console because it has wood grain on it so always be careful with all the nicks and scratches from the body of the radio that you're removing or other dash pieces I'll remove it just like that and you'll notice there's a harness antenna connector here the main harness there and I feel something else over here so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, unplug those harnesses and the antenna as well being that this uh, 06 Avalon has a JBL premium system it's labeled right there I am using the access interface which is this model the Metra dash kit for a double nib and also the steering wheel control which is this one by access interface you'll notice on the instruction booklet for the Metra dash kit that they have the uh, removal instructions and also the assembly instructions which I would recommend you go through because a lot of times I mean I don't know all the cars so I usually use the, the Metra guide and it's very helpful so in this case it's telling me to remove the, the heating controls and snap them from the back of the dash bezel which is this so from the back I'm gonna unsnap them I guess if, uh, I gotta do some modifications or something to the bezel to allow the new head unit to fit properly if you notice on the trim dash bezel that surrounds the radio I cut the lip according to the directions it says to cut this lip right here at this edge where those holes are at uh, but before you do that you got to remove the little door which is this one is secured by four uh, screws and then you start cutting this I filed it down a little bit to make it even uh, and then from there we'll continue the process to install the radio so pretty much the dash kit from Metra consists of this trim dash that is going to bolt onto those existing four holes from the back side of, the, of this dash using the uh, factory screws and it also includes these two ISO brackets to mount on each side of the radio to mount it onto the dashboard. So this is what the dash looks like after you put the Metra piece in place and like I said you use the existing four screws that you took off prior and uh, there you go. So after prepping the wire harness on the workbench, the interface, wiring it up, I went ahead and plugged it into the original factory plugs, uh, the main one for the power and amplifier, and then the steering wheel control interface, the antenna, I plugged in the Bluetooth mic, which I mounted up here, and I just tucked it away underneath the edge of the headliner, down this pillar, underneath the dash, and back up to the dashboard where the radio location is. Um, if you notice everything's already plugged in GPS antenna 
uh, antenna for the FM, AM radio, the wire, wire harness, the USBs that I ran into the glove box, and uh, the rest is just mounting it back to the original four screws, and then assemble everything back the way it was uh, in reverse order. Once bolted, the radio should look similar to that right there before I put the dash back together. I already went ahead and tried it out and it works great. Steering wheel controls work, Bluetooth works, and I'm going to start assembling it to show you how it looks after. So this is the dash assembled back together. Like I uh, just remember to snap it all back first this one then the one that goes over the steering column back on and then the little wooden trim it might not be wooden in the car you're working on but there's this piece that came off first second and third so in reverse order just put it back together and like I showed you earlier or told you earlier I went ahead and tested everything right now I'm raising the volume on from the steering wheel everything works um, yeah and that's it just uh, be patient like I said again read the directions on the Metra dash kit uh, it'll show you step by step on disassembling the, uh, the radio and also putting it back together have fun guys and uh, keep your eyes out for another video for a different type of car that I'm working on